What is up, my friends? You are very welcome along to Wednesday Night Show. We have scoured through the media today, through the newspaper headlines, to try and find you the most interesting tidbits and morsels of information around Liverpool Football Club. We're going to talk about two positions of the team, or two positions in the squad that Jurgen Klopp is looking to strengthen in the summer market. One of them will come as no surprise to you whatsoever. The second one... Well, I have to say it came as a bit of a surprise to me. So maybe you're ahead of me in the curve. Maybe you aren't, but stick with me because I will give you the details over the next eight to 10 minutes. As always, though, I want to say a massive thank you to you guys for your continued support of the channel. We're going from strength to strength. Big plans coming ahead for next season as well as we move back over to YouTube for all of our content. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. And just know that from July onwards, you can expect to see the watch alongs, the nightly news shows, these shorter form videos and a few other exciting bits and pieces as well but most importantly i want to know your thoughts on both the stories i speak about today and of course any thoughts you have on the channel things that you'd like to see we are always reading through the comments and always open to your suggestions so look let's start off today with the area of the pitch that jürgen klopp is looking to strength that won't surprise you and that is of course midfield now we need to get a mix in midfield, from my opinion we do need to look at the homegrown side of things and we also need to look at just the best fit for midfield but i guess the guessing game comes from us fans is because we need to figure out what system Klopp's going to go with first. So for me, I'm basing everything I do off three midfielders coming in and a centre-back. But that's not the position, the other position that I'm going to talk about a little bit later on. So let's start off with midfield. And Mason Mount is the name that has been doing the rounds most today. Jacob Steinberg has said that Mason Mount looks increasingly likely to join Liverpool. Now, I've read another piece today that said that Liverpool are very interested in adding Mason Mount to the ranks, but they are unwilling uh, to pay the 70 million, which is realistic. And they believe that they can get him for less than that, which is important here because Liverpool not being willing to pay an ask and price, well, that's something that we've become accustomed to as fans, right? But the next question is, do we not pay that asking price and lose out on the player? Or do we not pay that asking price because the asking price is just unrealistic? And in this case, I think it's the latter. I think it is just unrealistic. £70 million for Mason Mount, but one year to go on a Chelsea contract is madness. It's ludicrous and nobody should pay it. So for me, if we can get this deal done around the £40 million mark, I think that that's fair business for Liverpool, fair business for Chelsea. And of course, it'll give Mason Mount a good chance to resurrect his career. Now, there are pros and cons to this deal. There are, of course, going to be people watching this that have absolutely zero interest in seeing Mason Mount at Liverpool. And then there are going to be people like myself who probably wouldn't have been my first choice, but I can understand the thought process. Jurgen Klopp has been an admirer of Mason Mounts for quite a while, and he is a homegrown player, so we do have to keep that in mind. He is Premier League tried and tested, whether you want to say it's proven or not, that is up to you. But for me, this makes sense. It makes sense if you add in two more midfielders around him and then you look to strengthen another area. So the most important part that I've taken from these media headlines today is that Liverpool are confident that they can get a deal done for Mason Mount, which is a good bit below that £70 million valuation. Chelsea are in... I don't want to say free fall, but it is a very, very crazy situation. I only found out today through reading stories and, and research in this video that Chelsea have actually had to put an extension onto their dressing room just because of the sheer squad size that they have. I believe it's over 30 first team players, which is just unmanageable for any manager. So they're going to have to make a lot of sales in the summer. And I've said to you guys many times that selling homegrown academy products is just all profit. So it makes sense to Chelsea to to balance out their FFP doing it that way. So apart from Mace Amount, I wouldn't say no to Levi Colwell as somebody that Liverpool should look at. Uh, but look, that'll be another video for another day. So today, I guess the first question I have is, Mason Mount, what's the number that you would feel comfortable with Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool uh, approaching Chelsea for Mason Mount? And do you think that this could be a stroke of genius or is it another underwhelming signing? It's over to you. Uh, the second part of this video is something that really did surprise me. Connor sent me something from Fabrizio Romano earlier on today. Uh, and again, full credit to LFG Transfer Room. His Twitter account is the one that posted this quote. Uh, Fabrizio has said, Liverpool are exploring the fullback market ahead of the summer transfer window. Now, the reason I said that I didn't know if this was going to happen was twofold. One, obviously we signed Calvin Ramsey. And this doesn't say which area, whether it's left or right, but we're all assuming the same thing, right? We're all assuming that Trent is going to be shifted towards midfield and that Liverpool could be looking to bring somebody in to fill in for Trent. Now, the question in my mind is, Connor Bradley surely has to be an option or under consideration here. 
Calvin Ramsey didn't really get a chance this season to show what he could do. So I'm very intrigued to see what type of level Liverpool are looking to do with regards to adding in a fullback. Are they looking to go top tier? Or are they looking to bring in somebody who can come in and provide cover? Because let's not forget, we do have Joe Gomez. He can play it right back. If we go to a back three, we've seen that Canate can play across that side. Fabinho, at a real push, can move back into right back as well. So I do think Liverpool have options. But I did find that very interesting that Fabrizio Romano has said that Liverpool are considering the fullback uh, area as one that they're looking to strengthen. I think it's fair to say that everybody's been happy with Trent's little um, jaunt, if that's the right word, into midfield. But I wonder, is this a long-term strategy in the system that we play where we're almost leaving the right-back side vacant or are we going to look to just try and make Trent a double pivot in the six? So that ties into what I was saying to you about the midfield search. Now, Raphael van der Vaart, of course, came out with that crazy statement to suggest that um, Jude Bellingham was inferior in every single way to Ryan Gravenberch. I don't agree with that one bit. And I do have my own concerns about our pursuit of Ryan Gravenberch, both from a stylistic perspective and from the availability. Because nothing frustrates us fans more than hearing that Liverpool are after a player who the selling club are just willing or unwilling to sell. And there is mixed messages coming through the media about Bayern Munich and Ryan Gravenberch. One day you'll hear €25 million, Euros, a fee that they take, which is brilliant business. Another day that Thomas Tuchel and the board have absolutely no interest in selling. So it's very difficult to start to put a picture together of what Liverpool's midfield may look like next season. But I do agree with John Aldridge and many others around, well, a certain young man who a lot of people seem to think Liverpool still aren't done with. Now, me, I'd never mention that. You know, I'd never bring that up here on the channel. Me being the um, non you know who type person. I don't speak about him anymore, so I'm not going to add anything to that, my friends. But look, I do think I do think it is going to be interesting to see if it's going to be, let's say, Alexis McAllister. And there's real pace behind Liverpool's pursuit of him. Certainly, his father has come out and said that his son will leave Brighton and leave the Amex in the summer. And we think that he's maybe bound for Liverpool. And I do think it would be a good piece of business. If you brought in Mason Mount, if you brought in Alexis McAllister, and then you add in another midfield player, uh, a strong physical presence. I know a lot of you guys like Ugarte from, or Ugarte, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, from Sporting Lisbon, but there are no shortage of other options there. And let's not forget, we still have Fabinho, Stefan Bajcecic, Thiago Alcantara, most likely Jordan Henderson, on top of maybe a Mason Mount, um, maybe an Alexis McAllister. I don't see a way that Liverpool really can go back for Moses Caicedo, not at that valuation. They turned down 70 million from Arsenal in January, so I think we should move on from that. A great player as he is, the price tag is just getting a little bit too high. So let me know your suggestions. Mason Mount, let's say, Alexis McAllister, and who may the third be? So keep uh, keep tuned in. We'll be back tomorrow with another update for you guys. And again, let me know if you've any suggestions for that fullback position because that really has intrigued me that uh, Fabrizio Romano said that according to his uh, understanding, Liverpool could look to go to the market for a fullback. That is about it from us today, my friends. Let me know your thoughts as always in the comments section. Look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.